What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we can use the scatter tool that's new in Cinema 4D and transfer that over to Unreal Engine. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So right now I have S24 open. It just came out and this is a scene that I set up here. It's like a little railroad track and let's say I wanted to scatter some maybe like railroad spikes and some fast food boxes like in the last tutorial that we had there. And so if I come over here, to my panel you can see that i actually have some spikes here i could drag these up so we can see them a little bit better so i have some railroad spikes there's about five of them here and then i have some food boxes as well if i come over here let me drag these up so we can see these so i have like a bunch of junk food boxes and i'm just going to scatter these around here just to make it look like it was lived in and there's people around here so i'll start with the railroad spikes and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to select the null right here that has all of them in it and then i'm going to come up here right next to the scale tool just click right here and go to scatter pin and that's going to bring up this attributes window down here and i could drag this over so we can see a little bit better so for radius let's maybe make this around 15 object spacing we can space these out a little bit maybe like 10 density i could bring the density down a little bit i don't want a ton of them here random order and i'm going to leave it as is so you can see that I actually have this null selected that selected everything underneath here. And so I don't have to select these individually. So I'm going to come back to my scatter pin and just going to click and drag these around here. And this is just for a tutorial purpose. So just showing some scattering going on. Maybe let's add some of the food boxes in here. So I'm going to select these manually, come back over to my scatter pin. I'm just going to select them, just scatter them around here which is quick and easy to do. This is pretty cool how this all works out. So let's say like this is the scene that I wanted to bring over to Unreal Engine and I'm happy with the way that it looks here. There are a few things that we're gonna to have to do in order to bring this over. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna hide these food and these spikes. So I'm gonna come over to my selection. I'm just gonna drag them off screen so these don't show when I bring them over. And then if I look right here, these are actually the scatters for the, the um, railroad spikes and our garbage that we have here. And so these are actually instances. And if we bring an instance over to Unreal Engine, it's not going to recognize it. So what I'm going to have to do is make this collapsible so that each one of these items are its own individual object. So all I'm going to do is hold down shift and select both of these. And I'm actually going to hit C on my keyboard. And you can see now it just made a bunch of instances here in which if I select all of these and then right here on instance mode, I'm going to come over and make these an instance. And that way I could bring them over to Unreal. So same thing for this top scatter, select all of these and then make sure they're an instance. And there we go. So the reason that they're a render instance inside of Cinema 4D is because you'll be able to render them faster and they're going to be a little bit less intensive on the viewport. But as of right now, Unreal won't recognize them. So we have to go through this extra step. And so let's say that we're good with everything here. So my next step from here is I'm going to hit Control D on my keyboard to bring up the Cineware tab. I'm going to make sure I have Save Polygon Cache on. I'm going to go Save Material Cache. And then for my width and height, I'm actually going to go multiply by four because I'm using 4K textures. Your format, I'm going to go PNG and then the depth, I'm going to go 16. Then I'm just going to come up to file and just save my project as I normally do. I already saved this one before, but I'm just going to save this as a version two. Hit OK. And that's all there is to it. And so next step from here, I'm going to open up Unreal Engine, open up the Datasmith plugin and just bring it right over. So I have Unreal Engine right here. This is version 426, the latest of right now. So all I'm going to do is come up to settings, come down to plugins, come to my search, just type in C4D. That's going to bring in our importer. I'm going to enable it. Just click yes. It's telling you that it's still in beta, but just hit restart. It's perfectly fine. Should only take a few moments for this to restart up for us. Now, here we go. So I'm just going to close out this plugins window. Then actually I'm going to delete this, get this stuff out of the way here. Then I'm going to come up to Datasmith, select that. And then I'm just going to find where I put my cinema 4d file. So I have it right here in my C4D folder, train car underscore version two. I'm just going to select that one, click okay. I'm just going to import everything. And this might take a few moments depending on your computer specs and how many different items you brought in but there we go so we have our items in here now 
you can see that it brought in everything scattered out as it normally would and everything is good so i brought everything from cinema 4d into unreal engine as i was saying before if we would have kept it as render instance none of this stuff would have came over it would have just had our train tracks here and everything with nothing scattered against it and so if you ever do import anything and you don't see it make sure you go to your instance that's about all there is to it so hopefully this helped you guys out so once again, I'm really excited about the scatter tool in Cinema 4D S24. It's probably my favorite feature that I've seen in there so far. And I think it's gonna go a long way towards artists being able to really add that extra level of detail to their scene. So if this helped you out, make sure you leave me a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave me a big thumbs up. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.